Welcome to another Inside Lansing, where today's guest is Brian Hannigan, Finance Director for the Village of Lansing. Brian, thanks for being on the show today. Thanks for having me, Neil. And why don't we just start asking the question, what is a finance director and what does your job here entail? So the finance director really is the chief financial officer for the village. And uh, my job entails preparing the village budget, monitoring that budget during the course of the fiscal year, which is uh, most residents know is really the end of April. And it's really to support the village administrator, the board, uh, mayor item, and really uh, all the department heads, fire, police, and public works. Okay. And we know you came from Oak Lawn before this. And That's correct. I wanted to ask, how did that help you prepare for the role here? Well, I was the finance director in Oak Lawn for about 14 years. And prior to that, I was the CFO at Fruit of the Loom, a large textile company. Oh, so okay. I think it prepared me for what uh, the issues and, and, and problems and opportunities that the village of Lansing has. And it, as you know, um, Lansing, uh, which is about 30,000 residents, it, despite its mid-level size, is still a very complicated, but very well-run town, but one that has an airport, has a, an entertainment venue, not to mention the regular services for police and fire, public works, and all the other things that every municipality does. Talking about Lansing, what drew you to the position here? Why did you want to come to Lansing? I think Lansing represented a, an opportunity to expand the experience I had in Oak Lawn uh, with a town with some unique opportunities like the entertainment venue, which as we all know, Fox Point got sidetracked because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I think as uh, many of the administrators have said, it's our second first year and hopefully that's going to be uh, just the uh, measurement of things to come. Obviously, there's a a lot of opportunity with the airport and future development of that. So there's a lot of unique opportunities in, in Lansing. Now, as finance director, you look over a lot of different things, but one of the things is obviously a big one is budget. And what goes into preparing and, and also sort of just what goes into fixing the budget, making sure it runs well? Well, the budget is a process, like every financial element to a, a village the size of Lansing. And it's really a consensus of the department heads, the administration, the trustees. The process starts uh, really in February or March of a given year and ultimately is approved by the board in June or July. And it's a process that really starts with each department head, uh, whether it's the Lansing Police Department, Lansing Fire, both of which is, as we all know, are excellent, very well-run departments. Uh, the Department of Public Works, which is made up of streets, sewer, and water. So there's a, a myriad of departments that feed into the village budget. And uh, it's relying on a lot of people, like everything. It's a team. And it doesn't just start with the village administrator or the board or mayor item. It starts with department heads and really all the employees to make sure that we put through a budget that uses, like every budget in a municipality like Lansing, it uses public funds. Uh, so you have to be a good protector of those funds, but um, to do the business that Lansing has to conduct every day, uh, every budget takes a lot of, it takes a team effort. Well, that's talking about big picture and how that looks, but on a smaller scale, obviously you have to work with different people on a day-to-day -day basis. What are some daily challenges you typically might have to run into? Well, I think like everything, every department wants, has their needs and their wants, and you try to allocate a res resources accordingly. For example, uh, we just had a terrible accident involving one of our fire ambulances. So you have to replenish that need for the village because uh, just like our squad cars, ambulances run 24-7. Uh, so I think the best thing that I can do as the finance director is make sure that we allocate scarce resources. And because uh, Lansing doesn't have an ultimate open checkbook, I think you have to make sure that you allocate those funds to each department based on priority and based on their needs. So um, whether it's an ambulance and fire or a, a series of squad cars, which have to be replenished every year for police, or we just, uh, the board of trustees just committed to a almost a half a million dollar sewer truck uh, to deal with some of the 
issues involving uh, main breaks and uh, uh, all the issues facing us that, that occur in our water system uh, uh, as we approach the winter. So it's a lot that you have to deal with different departments on kind of a daily basis. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that each department here, I, I have to say, it's a it's a very well uh, schooled management team with a lot of experience. You have a police chief that's been at Lansing for over 20 years. You have a fire chief that uh, has a, a varied experience, not just in fire, but in our building department, a uh, public works director that's that has a 20 year, 20 years of experience. So you've got you've got a good team. And, and I'm not even talking about now. Uh, some of the other department has investment in information technology, um, this network. Um, we have a, a very good experienced group of uh, team members, I guess you would say, management team members. Is there anything new that you want to bring to the position coming in here since you're new to the position itself? Well, I, I'm hoping that what I'll bring to Lansing residents is to make sure that when we assess our levy every year, our property tax levy, that we recognize the, the challenge that Lansing has in keeping very good people in town and not moving to Northwest Indiana. And the way to do that is to make sure that we don't just simply increase property taxes every year without having a good reason to do it. And my hope is that we get to a point, and the board has agreed to do that in this year's budget, that the property tax levy won't increase by more than maybe a COLA each year or some reasonable amount based on inflation. So that uh, at least for the villages component, which again, the villages component is really in a typical property tax bill is really only about 10 to 12% of the tax bill. And for that 10 to 12%, residents are given police services, fire services, public work services. Most of a property tax bill, as you know, is really dedicated to the schools. And uh, right. And you have excellent schools in Lansing. The high school, TF South, is a terrific school. Uh, you've got a, a lot of great grammar schools that feed into TF South. Um, but I think, I think the taxing agencies have to start realizing that uh, people are going to leave if we aren't really careful about how much we tax people. So I ho I'm hoping that as part of the my background, uh, both uh, in, on the corporate side and uh, my experience in Oak Lawn will lead to uh, making sure that when we assess the levy each year, that there's really good budgetary reasons for us to do that. Sounds great. And I guess the last question I have today is, what do you love about being in the role of finance director? What do you love about doing your job? Well, in again, Lansing is a very complicated town for its size. Again, it's got a what is I think a terrific regional uh, entertainment venue uh, in Fox Point, a uh, regional airport that uh, the village board has made a commitment to reinvesting in, uh, terrific economic development opportunities on Torrance and Ridge Road, and so it's. Uh, I think I think the the beauty of my job is it's never boring, and there always seems to be uh, things that hit you in the course of your day that you're not really always uh, expecting. But uh, I feel my background has prepared me for it to to be able to roll roll with anything that we get hit with. Well, again, that sounds great, and Brian, we're happy to have you on the show. We're glad to introduce you, everybody, and we look forward to having you on the show next time. Yeah, thank you for having me today, Neil. And uh, any resident that has any questions, feel free to call the Village Hall. And uh, any financial questions, they should feel free to call me directly at my uh, office number at the Village. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Inside Lansing.